Well, this book is to encourage um, the next generation. This book is to make sure that uh, I wrote it out of passion. And um, if you read the book, you see how humbling the book is. And um, this book is supposed to change lives. You know, when it comes to impact, whatever I can do to create that necessary impact, I will. 50 years, what is the reflection as an entrepreneur, as a businessman? Well, I mean, if you ask me a reflection, um, life has been very tough. 50 years, um, despair, glory, it's all mixed. And, uh, but at the end of the day, I, I give thanks to God. You launched a, is it an entrepreneurship award, if I stand to be corrected. Yeah. Why this award, one would ask? Uh, imagine the businesses or imagine awards is for young businesses, young entrepreneurs that are thriving. Well, many a times I've noticed that uh, the whole Ghana had forgotten about emerging businesses. We only think about the big boys like the McDonald's, the DHL, the MTN, the Vodafones and the rest. So I thought it wise to launch this award that every year um, we honor the Ajwa Mansan by the roadside who is a basket weaver within one year or two years, three years, he's exporting his baskets. Young businessmen, young entrepreneurs coming up. So this will be for them, just to pat on their shoulder to say that, look, you are doing well, continue. And these are the businesses that will carry the next uh, generation. For you, what advice do you have for these budding entrepreneurs out there in these uh, challenge COVID time? Some have shut down, some are not going to see the future again. You have this entrepreneurship award coming up and all the rest. What advice do you have for these entrepreneurs out there who don't see a future because of an external environment issue that has crumbled their business? Well, as a businessman, risk is supposed to be um, one of your cardinal marks that uh, you shouldn't forget. I mean, turbulent times can come, but that what makes you an entrepreneur. So for me, though it's been turbulent, but uh, I want to encourage them to let them know that there is light at the end of the tunnel. And um, it's been bad, we've been badly hit. I mean, I'm one of the businesses in this country which had really been hit by this COVID, but I'm still fighting on. And every time there is a, a pandemic from the 50s, 60s, 80s, there's always a business boom. So for me, uh, they should expect uh, boom in business in some few years to come. From the Magdalene Group perspective, what should we be expecting from you going forward? Well, uh, Magdalene has been very consistent. Magdalene has been very consistent and we are still moving ahead. I mean, Ghana should expect uh, another explosion from the group. Right now we are into mining. Um, we're just starting our executive jet operation, the private jets. Um, we are taking logistics to another level, where we are uh, going to set up uh, offices in about three European countries. So we are also bringing our own vessel um, to the shores to support after. I mean, we have um, um, we should expect some some good things coming out from the group. Final on the executive jet bit as well. All other things being equal, when are we hoping that it will start operations? Well, the terminal has been completed. Um, the jets have been procured. We have about three jets now. Um, so we're just looking for a day that will commission the terminal to start running the executive jets. Hip, hip, hip! Congratulations to you, Dr. Daniel McCauley.